Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. Uh, looking at downtown Warren again, what a pretty shot at dusk here over Veterans Bridge, over to the Warren General Hospital, Soldiers and Sailors Monument there on our quick fill camera. And uh, mild temperatures continue to dominate as well as a lack of precipitation. So nothing here, clipper system coming down, but also not just snow, but more for us showers as we continue to be on the mild side, as evidenced by our high today, 49 12 above normal, the low 38, 16 above normal. And as we were pointing out last half hour, the low one degree higher than what our average high should be. And uh, as we take a look at the snowfall, half inch for the month, 41 inches for the year, we should be double of that uh, by this time in February. So your headlines, daylight continues to increase, gusty winds tomorrow, there'll be shots of rain, maybe a little bit of mix or wet snow, every day for the next three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then another cold Friday with flakes. And a psychological boost for you, sunset this evening, six o'clock in Erie. By the 12th of March, of course, you're putting your clocks ahead, so it goes to 7.23. Quarter to eight at April 1st, no fooling there. 20 after eight, May 1st. So temperatures, 37, Larian Lake City, of 40, Keith and McCain, 37 at Barron, and from Becky and French Creek, and from Jim in Dewittville. Crawford County, 40, Janet and Cambridge, Roseanne and Espyville at 41, Venango County, Rob and Oil City at 47, uh, Warren at 44, and Chandler's Valley at 40. So again, we're talking about the La Nina pattern, which has been so prevalent. Cooler Pacific Ocean drives the jet in a different direction, so we're cooler up here, and you can see it right here all right that's where the cold in the arctic air has been trapped and we'll use our model our american model go two weeks out you get a warm day on thursday there's your typical friday drop and after that remember this is going out to like march 21st nothing pink anywhere near us so temperatures staying or excuse me <laughs> let's just say temperatures staying for the next two weeks above normal and as you look at the precipitation side of things, there's a shot, little bit of rain that may start as some snow or end as some snow, and then some clearing later tomorrow. So that's not a big system. Wednesday, same old stuff, a little bit of mix, and then a bunch of rain, and the process gets repeated on Thursday before the colder air comes in on Friday. And you get a little bit of snow, but probably not much more than you saw last Friday. So for tonight, 29 to 33, and then the temperatures rise late into the upper 30s, dry along the lakeshore, inland, southern Erie, Crawford, Mercer, Venango, partly to mostly cloudy, similar lows which may rise towards morning. Mountains of Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, and McKean, maybe a sprinkle towards morning in New York, otherwise dry, lows 25 to 30. So windy tomorrow, some morning rain, and then some late day sun, highs in the 40s dropping into the 20s tomorrow night. And then on your seven-day forecast, we're looking at uh, 26 with a uh, snow shower on Friday. Saturday, early flurries. And then Sunday, we go into a chance of late snow, which may go to rain on Monday as temperatures get back into the low 40s. That forecast and much more available 24 hours a day on the Your Erie To Go app. Back to you, Jen. Oh.